welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marky Rochelle, and thank you for clicking on my video. Off, I just want to say I'm having a really hard time filming this intro without busting out laughing, because just looking at myself in the viewfinder is hilarious to me. <laughs> this is going to be part two of my little Twist Tuesday series, where I do something a little bit out of the box. Still makeup related, of course, because we are all about the makeup here on my channel, but it's just something a little bit different, and I actually got inspo from Instagram for this one. But for this look today, guys, I was inspired and pretty much recreated a look by Miss Abby Roberts Artistry. I will list her information down below so you guys can check her out, but I saw this look that she posted on Instagram and I was like, girl, I gotta recreate that. It's amazing. Can't get enough of it. Gotta do it. But this look was super fun to create, so I really hope you guys are excited to watch it. If you are not already, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below before we get started, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. Okay guys, so starting off first, we're going to be starting with the eyes. The eyes are actually fairly, fairly simple. It might look a little bit complicated, but honestly, it was super duper easy. So I'm going to be jumping into the Morphe X James Charles palette. And first shade I'm going to start with is You're Kidding. Of course, it is a red shade. We are going with the whole rainbow theme. So we're going to be starting with red. After I kind of set the red down, and again, you're going to be one of, you're going to want to be working with smaller um, brushes for this guy. This is just going to help you be a little bit more precise and not get shadow all all over the place. Um, so once I kind of lay out the red in the area that I want it, I'm going to start um, adding some orange to it. So for the orange color, I'm going to be using the shade 518 from the palette, and I'm just going to be kind of going back and forth between the orange shade and the red shade and just kind of blending them together, so on and so forth throughout the remainder of this look. It's just going to be a lot of adding a little bit of pigment, blending the pigment together, adding pigment, blending it together. You get the picture. So I'm going to start with the yellow shade here, which is in the shade B, and again, same thing guys, kind of pack on a little bit of that yellow shade and then mix it in with the orange, and so on and so forth back and forth until we get the full rainbow effect we are going for. Alrighty, and still going down the rainbow. So on my other eye, I started in with a light green color and then blended right into a dark blue color. Honestly, not really thinking about it and it made it a little bit messy on my other eye. So I tried to, you know, smarten up a little bit on this eye. So I start with the shade, the shade Social Blade to start, which is a lighter green color. Obviously it would make sense for a yellow to go to a light green, then dark green, then to a dark blue. Come on, Marky, where was your brain on the other eye? I don't know. But anyways, guys, we're going to be mixing a little bit of the shade Social Blade here, and then I will start to go in with a darker shade of green from the palette, which is in the shade Daddy, and just start mixing these two colors together. You want to, even if you can, look at a reference picture of a rainbow, just because the lighter color eventually fades into a darker version of itself, so you want to kind of go with the whole rainbow feel, if you catch my drift. Hopefully I'm making sense, but again, I'm just going to be kind of packing these colors on, blending them out. Here you guys can see I'm going to be starting in with the darker blue color, so as you guys can see, that flows a little bit better from the darker green to the darker blue. It just been, blends in a little bit better and looks a little bit more cohesive as an overall look, so hopefully that makes sense what I'm saying, and I'm not just rambling, and you guys don't know what I'm talking about, <laughs> but I'm still going to be adding that darker green color, going back in with a lighter green color, mixing it in with the yellow, blending everything out, making sure it looks nice and cohesive. And of course you can't have a little bit of a rainbow without some purple, so I'm just taking a little bit of a violet color on an eyeliner brush here. I believe this one was in the shade Escape. Yes, Escape. And again, I'm just going to be adding that color and then blending it in with the blue, blending it with the green, and so on and so forth. Sorry if I'm repeating myself a bunch, guys. I just want to make sure I'm being super clear and you guys get what I'm saying. Um, also, I can't stress enough, guys, to have littler brushes to work with is going to be best. It just helps me be a little bit more precise and so I wasn't getting a shadow all over the darn lid. You are going to be able to clean it up here a little bit with concealer in a sec, but just keep in mind little blur brushes might help you. Um, I also went ahead and buffed out the um, upper area of my eyelid just to make sure it didn't look like stark shadow and then nothing else. I wanted it to be kind of a seamless blend from shadow to just regular eyelid. 
if that makes sense at all. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna do a quick cut crease. I'm not gonna walk you through this one just because you guys have seen me do cut creases about a thousand times. If you guys are interested or if you're new to my channel, I will link a couple of my cut crease videos down below just in case you're not familiar with my work. <laughs> And since we are winging out this cut crease quite a bit, I'm just gonna buff that outer corner out a little bit. That way when I go to do my face makeup, it doesn't look like a random line of concealer just hanging out on my outer corner of my eye. I'm also gonna set this as well with Flashback from the palette, just a really pretty white shade. And I thought it really, really brightened my eyes and made them look super wide and awake and a little bit bigger in fact as well. So I'm just gonna pack that all over the lid, basically anywhere that we put that concealer down. This is also gonna help set the concealer, that way it does not slip and slide and go anywhere throughout the day when we wear this out to, you know, the grocery store, to work, to pick up the kids, you know, whatever you may be doing. <laughs> Alrighty, and last thing on the lid, I'm just gonna add a winged eyeliner real quick, real quick in quotation marks, cause let's get real, it took me like 20 minutes to do these. <laughs> and the only reason I really did this guys was because it was looking a little bit too stark up top and honestly winged eyeliner is great at helping you hide lash bands. So that's pretty much the only reason I did it. It's not super necessary, but I thought it just kinda helped complete the look. So if you guys wanna do it, great. If not, don't worry about it, it's not super necessary. Once we get that all set up, we're gonna move on to the funnest part of the look, which is of course the teardrops. There's really no right or wrong way to do these guys. I just kind of went with my gut. I also looked at Abby's picture, of course, to kind of get the overall shape that she did as well. Um, yeah, there's really no technical way to do this. You can look at reference pictures. You could look at her picture if you wanted to, but I just kind of went with my gut and went with it. I did take a little bit of concealer as well just to kind of clean these up after they were dry, of course, but yeah, I. It's really not super technical. I don't I don't have a lot of tidbits and tricks for this guy, so just kind of went with it. Um, and I'm just using liquid eyeliner for these. I believe I used two Wet n Wild liquid eyeliners and then some NYX as well. Um, if there was a tidbit I could give you guys, the only thing I can really think of is if you are gonna recreate this and try this, I recommend I recommend doing an odd number of tiers. Um, odd numbers are a little bit more aesthetically pleasing to the eye. So basically just pick an odd number if you're gonna do three, if you're gonna do five, pick an odd number, it's gonna make it look a little bit better. Um, and yeah, just kind of go with your gut guys. There's no right or wrong way to do it, like I said. And then if all else fails, have a little bit of concealer handy and a smaller brush, and you can always clean them up if you get a little messy. Alrighty guys, that is it for this look. I really hope you enjoyed watching. Again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below before you leave. I would really appreciate it. And until next time guys, I will catch it in the next video. Bye. Alrighty guys, let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. If you didn't finish that catchphrase with me, we're not friends. You know, some kids are getting their college degrees, some kids are getting married, some kids are starting a family. I just like to draw rainbow tears on my face. Explains why I probably don't have a boyfriend. It's fine. It's fine. You go playing this. <laughs> Hope you're proud of me, mom and dad.